Hi, I'm psychotherapist Mary Jo Rapini, and welcome to Renovating Relationships. Today's topic, you can't fix your partner's problem, but you can help them with it. When is the last time you felt really connected to your partner? When is the last time your partner made you feel like, oh my goodness, this person really gets me. This person really understands me at a at my soul, at my gut. You know, if you say, well, it was just last night, that's great. But more than likely, the longer you've been married, the fewer times you've had of that. That's because the skill your partner was using is called empathy. Empathy is when you have the ability to step out of yourself, move back, and actually experience what your partner is feeling. It's a way of connecting. It's an incredible form of compassion, and it's powerful. For the most part, when I do marriage counseling, I'm not seeing the big problems. I'm seeing the breakdown of the marriage, and it, the breakdown is caused by all these little things. And forgetting about empathy is one of those little things that's actually a big thing. Now, there are simple ways that you can actually practice empathy. And I promise you, if you practice it, if you start doing it in your relationship, you will notice a huge change, whether it's in your marriage, between your boyfriend, girlfriend, between your kids, empathy works. And it goes like this. First of all, when someone wants to talk to you about a problem, and we'll use your partner because that's what this is for. When they come into the room and they want to tell you something, put your phone down. Shut off the TV. Make an area for them to talk that's quiet. You cannot listen. You cannot be there for your partner if you're distracted by something else. Secondly, don't minimize don't minimize what they're feeling. Don't try to say, well, it wasn't that big of a deal, or, oh, you're overreacting, or it's your time of the month. Those things are really rude. But worse than that, they make your partner feel all alone. They make your partner feel disconnected. And I'll tell you what else will happen. Your partner will get a little bit resentful, and they'll move backwards. And that is not what you're going for. You're going for a deeper connection. Next, respond with attention and affection when your partner's having a problem. Something as simple as going up to them and touching their neck or their hand and saying, I'm so sorry that you have to go through this. That, that speaks volumes to your partner. Next, don't ignore or try to talk your partner out of what they're feeling. It doesn't matter if you think they're overreacting. It doesn't matter what you think. What's important is that you're able to understand what your partner is feeling and join them. You're trying to support them because when you support them, you're going to help them calm down. They don't have to fight for you anymore. They know they've got you on their side. Next, validate their feelings. Something as simple as, Oh my goodness, I can see why you felt so bad. That must have hurt you so badly. Those things make your partner feel like, wow, they really get me. They understand me. It's going to make your partner feel connected. Your partner's going to lose a lot of the anger or frustration or whatever it was they were feeling when they first sat down with you. Next, you want to remember to not fix their problem, okay? You can fix their tire. You can fix the light bulb. You can fix the faucet, but you can't fix their problem. And that's because their problem comes with a whole history that you can never fully understand. Allow them to fix their problem. Support them. Give them your ultimate attention, and they will fix it. Next, you want to take the team approach. By that, I mean the whole reason everybody wants a relationship is to share their life. They want to share the good times. They want to share the bad times. What they're saying is they innately know that two 
is stronger than one. So when you support your partner, when you say, you know what, babe, we're a team. I've got your back. You know, I will support what you think you need right now. What, you know, if it'll help you to go for a walk, if it'll help you get out for a while, if it'll help you escape, go for a coffee. That's what I'm here for. I want to help you deal with what you're feeling. Never, ever forget that empathy is an expression of kindness, but it's wrapped in your love. And that's what makes it so potent in your relationship. I hope this helps you. Let me know. Go to my YouTube, subscribe so you get all of them. And let me know if these are helping, what you need help with more. I gave you small do's and don'ts, but there's a whole larger area behind that. You might want that. You have to talk to me, though, so I know what you need. Go to my Twitter, at Mary Jo Rapini. Talk to me on my Facebook, Mary Jo Rapini. Go to my website. Join everything on there I have for free. It's MaryJoRapini.com. Renovating relationships is about empowering you to have the best relationship of your life. Good relationships create healthy families. Healthy families promote healthy schools, healthy communities, and healthy societies. Thanks a lot, and stay tuned. Next week's hot topic is one week away. Mary Jo Rapini, signing off.